management accounting 20, cash, budgeting, and inventory. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, our email, and our phone number. And another source for this information is Management Accounting 7, the video that's already out on YouTube. I wanted to talk about this in the context of an article from the Wall Street Journal, Suspense and Back to School. This article is all about the difficulty of estimating how much inventory companies should carry, particularly during a time when a lot of sales happen during back to school. So what's happened in, this is August of 2010, stores are gearing up for price wars and big discounts to pull in shoppers. Customers are more frugal. This back to school is the second most important event for U.S. retailers. And another problem with in supplying inventory is there are shifts in what people are buying. Money that previously went to buy back-to-school wardrobes has been diverted to other categories like electronics. And what the, the retailer wants to avoid is we want to avoid merchandise piling up ahead of Christmas. They need to stock for back-to-school, get rid of it, and then stock for Christmas again. We've got more cautious spenders. <coughs> we need to clear goods from July and August again. We want to stock, clear goods, and restock again. We don't want to be stuck with a glut of inventory. And finally, there was a category here at the bottom, a picture that explained how clothing, shoes, school supplies, and electronics have shifted over the past few years in terms of buying. That takes us back to the operating cycle, how cash gets used and replenished. So a retailer is going to spend cash on inventory. They may perform a service which is opening a retail store and stocking it with inventory. People buy it. The company collects cash. The retailer, let's say it's Old Navy, and Old Navy is going to turn right back around and repeat the process. That is, they're going to take the cash that they got from a client, and they're going to go out and buy more inventory. The faster that that money turns, that is, the faster clients pay for their purchases, the faster that Old Navy can go out and buy inventory. The flip side of that is it means that Old Navy is out of pocket, has money tied up in inventory for a lot shorter time if people pay quickly. The faster they pay, the less money you have tied up in inventory. So when a business owner asks, where is my cash, if you look at the balance sheet, particularly the assets section, that cash that you invested in your business is going to be in two primary places. First of all, receivables from prior sales, and secondly, inventory, goods that are waiting to be sold. And we talked about how both of those are related to sales, and both of those can cause a cash drain if you're collecting money slowly. So if I flip over here to an example that we used in another video, Let's assume that we have a cash budget for Levi's, a retailer selling blue jeans. We have a beginning cash balance and we have sales. We get 80% of payment the first month, 20% the second month. So if we sell $300,000 in July, we get 80% in August, we get 20% in September. And we'll say that our inventory payments are 65% of budgeted sales. So Levi's has come up with a budget of 300000 The cost of sales, the cost to put that inventory item on the shelf, is 65% of that sales amount, or $195,000. And since each pair of jeans is only $10 per unit, this is how many units they're planning to sell. Plan sales, plan cost of sales, plan units sold. So there's that 195,000 cost of sales that we're budgeting every month. So we end up with a, an ending cash balance and you can see that we have ins and outs that come up with an ending cash balance each year. We also can comment on the flow of the units. Here's our units over here. July we begin with no beginning inventory. We purchase the budgeted amount of units each month. 
19.5 all the way across. And then we look at how much we actually sold. Here's our cost of sales, and what we're taking is our sales times 65% to get the cost of sales divided by 10 for $10 a unit. So this cell, for example, is the 270 times 65% divided by 10 to come up with number of units that we sold. So this is units sold. So if we take our basic formula, purchase, beginning inventory plus purchases, less items that we sold, we come up with an ending inventory. You can see how that's working in that cell. So the issue here is, is that based on this flow of sales and this flow of dollars collected and this budget, we come up with 13,000 units in ending inventory. And if we multiplied that by $10 a unit, we'd come up with $130,000 of money tied up in any inventory. 13000 times $10 a unit would be $130,000 ending up in ending inventory if you looked at it in sales. So 13,000 units. Let's take a different budget and let's assume that sales have slowed down. So the payments coming in are coming in at the same rate. 80% first month, 20% the second month. We have the same budget. We budget for the same payments every month. But in this case, our sales here total 700000 versus sales over here of 880000 Let's see what that happens to our cash. Our ending cash budget at 880000 in sales is nine ninety one. Our ending budget, our ending cash, if we have 700,000 in sales, is only 737. Why? Because we're collecting money more slowly, even though we're paying the same amount, writing the same dollar amount of checks for inventory every month. So everything slows down. The other issue is. I misspoke earlier, 1300 times 10 gets us to $13,000 in ending inventory. Look how much more we have in ending inventory in dollars tied up here. 9750 times $10 a unit, we have 97500 tied up in ending inventory here. Fewer sales, writing the same checks to pay for inventory, we have a huge increase in the dollar amount tied up in ending inventory. Another way of thinking about that is if we take the 97.50 less 13,000, that's about $84,000 tied up in ending inventory more than the prior example. The difference between 13,000 and 97.50. That means there's about $84,000 sitting on the shelves in inventory and it's cash that we can't use for something else, and that's really the danger. When we can't get access to the cash to use it to pay for more inventory, for advertising, for salaries, for employees, this ending inventory is sucking up cash. Sucking up cash. That's why we say in the slide, sales with slow, co slow collection creates cash drain, so you may not have enough money next month to operate. That's the end of Management Accounting 20, our essential courses, hour-long courses using GoToMeeting.com on cost accounting, financial manager, and intermediate are available. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd, STL, all one word. To register for live one-on-one -on -one tutoring using GoToMeeting.com or small group sessions, here's our web address, our email, and our phone number. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time.